The official start of summer is right around the corner. Yeah, and the summertime is the busiest time of year for CBP officers, and that's when they see a lot more cross-border travel. Channel 5's Cassandra Garcia spoke with CBP about the increase. She's live at the Hidalgo Port of Entry. Cassandra, how's the traffic looking like right now? Rudy Dina, the wait time isn't too bad right now. It takes it's set at about 30 minutes to enter into the U.S., which is actually below average, but that might not be the case this weekend. We're told more people tend to cross on the weekends throughout the summer, and Customs and Border Protection says longer lines are to be expected. Summer means more travelers and higher than normal wait times at the Hidalgo International Bridge. Alexandra Cifuentes lives in the valley. She has family in Mexico. She's one of many travelers who head across the border often during the summer. In the summer, there's more movement back and forth. I visit my family more. I take more time off from work. I think that's the reason for other people too. Customs and Border Protection agent Francisco Rodriguez says it's typical this time of year. There's going to be an increase in traffic. Uh, we won't sacrifice our inspection process for for a quicker travel, so just keep that in mind. Rodriguez says wait times can range from 45 minutes to two hours throughout the summer, especially on holidays and weekends. Travelers like MC Gonzalez say wait times are something she's very aware of. She lives in Mexico, but crosses into the valley regularly throughout the year. What happens is I buy stuff here and resell it in Mexico and Reynosa. Gonzalez says it takes her longer to get into the U.S. during the summer. There's a ton of people that cross over to shop mainly because it's summer. And well, yeah, they come on vacation. Today, the line seems super long. There are things you can do to speed up the process. What will help on, on the traveler's end is to have their documents in order. If you're a U.S. citizen that usually crosses with a birth certificate, go get your passport. Having an officer slow down to type every person that doesn't have a passport slows that line even more. Another common reason for delays are people who don't know what items they're crossing with. People bringing back products for family members. Uh, you know, they have a huge ice chest full of all their products, you know, meats, you know, fruits from Mexico, etc. Some some products do come in, some don't, but it's important that you know what you're bringing with you. Showing agents at the border an itemized list of everything you have could make the process a lot smoother. CBP says the number one thing is to plan a accordingly and you can do that by checking the wait time right through your phone i did it it took two minutes and you can see each bridge's wait time through that website now we're going to post the link on our website at caretv.com after the newscast live in hidalgo cassandra garcia channel 5 news at 6.